So we're going to have a look at how we can put pictures in from your camera roll and from the camera on your iPad. Now to do this activity, you do actually already have to have access to the photos. So it means that you know that they're already on your device, which, mean, which means you've saved them to your camera roll or they are possibly pictures around the room or pictures in a book and you can use your camera to do that. So if you don't have access to these images, okay, or they're not already on your iPad, you can definitely change these to something that you might already have. But I have these photos ready to go, so we're gonna show you how to put them onto the page. Now for this activity, we're gonna put them in the green boxes, but you could click anywhere on the screen and it will insert where our little flashing cursor is. So let's look at this first one. We're gonna put a picture of the earth in here. Now to do that, we're gonna be up here in insert and then we're gonna go over to pictures. When I select pictures, it's gonna open up my camera roll. And when I do that, we're gonna see my photos. And here's my photo down the bottom of the earth. So I'm going to click that and then click done. So you've got to look at it, go, you know, happy with that. You can make changes if you want. If you want to, um, you know, crop the photo or rotate it, you can do all of that. But otherwise, if you're happy. So you can make changes to it if you want. You can crop the photo, you can delete it, rotate it, lots of different things there. But otherwise, if you're happy with it, we just click done. Now our photo goes in like so. And depending on how big the photo is, sometimes it will come through little, sometimes it will come through quite large like this one, but you, we can always select it. And then we've got our little corners here to drag in. So I'm gonna drag that in because it's a little bit too big for the page. And I think that looks a little bit nicer now. So now we're gonna do the second one where it says the moon. So I'm gonna select the cell where it says that the photo of the moon is going to go and I'm gonna come up to insert again. But this time I'm gonna choose camera. So I've got a picture on my laptop screen of the moon ready to go, but I'm gonna take a photo of it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click on camera and that should open up my, here we go, my camera and there's my photo. I'm gonna come all the way over here to where our little um, snap icon is to take that photo. If it's a document, you can change it to document as well. So if you're taking a picture of maybe your work that you've done, you could change it to document and it'll help to make it even clearer. But otherwise, we're gonna click to take that photo. And again, this is a great example where I'm gonna show how you can crop. So I just want that photo of the moon. So I'm gonna come up here to crop and we're going to pull in the sides. So I want to make it nice and tidy. Maybe I've got all these pens and pencils over my desk and I've taken a photo and I don't want them in my photo. I just want it to concentrate on the great work that I've done. So I'm going to crop that right in like I just did then. I'm going to click done. And there it is. There's my photo of the moon. I'm going to click done again because I'm happy with that. Again, our picture is a bit too big for our screen. So we're going to click down on the image and drag that up. And I do actually really want it to be the same size as the other one. So I can just use my eye, make a judgment. There we go, I think that's about the same. So we're gonna show you that one last time. So with the sun, I'm gonna click here with the sun, but this one I'm gonna to go to pictures. I'm gonna to go to recent. I'm going to pick the image of the sun here click done. I'm happy with how that looks. I'm going to click done again. I'm going to come down. You'll see this time this image was a little bit smaller than the others. But I still just want to click on it and whoop, try that again. There we go. Click on it and drag it in a little bit. And that's how we insert our photos.